2016 Ford Expedition with the 3.5 twin turbo or the 3.5 EcoBoost, however you want to phrase it, um, V6 engine, obviously. I'm doing a lot of other things to this vehicle, but I am also replacing the turbos, and in order to get to the turbo on the passenger side over here, you have to remove the starter. So I figured I'd go ahead and just make a quick video about how to do exactly that. All right, here's the starter on the passenger side, right behind the uh, front passenger tire. We're gonna go ahead and start by removing this harness. We have the ground right here. We have your signal wire that connects to your ignition switch. And this red wire right here is your main power lead that goes directly to the battery. Now, I don't know the other sizes yet, but I do know the signal wire is a 10 millimeter. So that's gonna be the first one I start with. I forgot to mention this, but my battery is actually removed from this vehicle because of all the work I'm doing to it. But make sure that at least your negative battery cable is disconnected before going any further with this repair. Ten millimeter. Loosen up that signal wire nut. And remove the signal wire. Go ahead and just move that out of the way somewhere. And now we can get onto the power supply wire. Right there behind this little freaking cover. Looks like it's gonna be a 12. Got a 12 millimeter. Get that thing on there. And just break the nut loose. Give it a spin as much as you can. There's the nut. Go ahead and pull off the main lead wire. And as well, tuck that out of the way. Now we can look towards these. It's a little bit difficult to see on camera probably because of the big old light. Let me go ahead and try to get this ground, which is not a 12. Is it a 14 maybe? Let me get a 14 real quick. Alright, it is actually a 13 millimeter. that is removable we're going to go ahead and grab our harness see if we can't move the whole thing just out of the way I said out of the way there you go all right the harness is out of the way now we can go ahead and start working on these two bolts right here now there's usually a 10 millimeter bolt this is actually supposed to be connected like so with a 10 millimeter bolt on it, but that apparently is not there. These are 13 millimeters. Grab that starter. Pull that top bolt out and your starter is now free. Okay. 
pretty much all there is to it. This starter is pretty new, but uh, not that that matters. That's how you remove the starter. Go ahead and just install it in reverse process. Now we'll point out that on these, right here, this uh, stud where you connect the signal wire, these can be really brittle uh, right down here. Now this one's aftermarket. It looks like it's a lot thicker than the OEM one. So maybe, maybe that's like a new uh, corrected model. But I know that these like to break off real easily. So be careful putting down that signal wire with that 10 millimeter bolt or nut, I mean. And uh, other than that, that should be all you need. This video helped you out. Leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you next time.